Since the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, school districts have been taking extra precautions to keep their students safe. Fox UP's Kelsey Nemusto has more on what UP schools are doing. Teachers are moving into lockdown. This is something students and faculty never want to have to do for real, but frequent rehearsals for fire drills and lockdowns are unfortunately a much needed safety requirement these days. Students are used to doing the eight fire drills per school year required by law. Recently, lawmakers have added two required lockdown drills to the mix. Colleges and universities get a pass on this requirement, but in February 2011, Northern Michigan University did experience a real lockdown due to an internet threat. The university tests its emergency alarms every month, exceeding the mandatory semi-annual check. We are implementing a new uh, alarm system in about a dozen of our buildings this upcoming summer. It'll take about a year to install the full system over the 12 buildings and that system will have um, a dual lighting system. Most faculty have gone or plan to go through active shooter training as well. At Nice Community Schools, faculty and students have been paying close attention to the recent school shootings. We've ramped up the lockdown procedures. Um, as a matter of fact, this coming Friday, our middle school and elementary teachers are going through an active shooter training over at the Aspen Ridge building, and our high school staff actually completed that training this summer. So it's something that's been on our minds a lot. De Augustine said that there are actually plenty of great hiding places in any school in hiding inside closets or cubicles behind large pieces of furniture or under a recycling or trash can are a few places that may save a life hiding underneath a desk or getting into a cupboard and closing the door are a couple of ways that students can learn to keep themselves safe if you have a school-aged child or a teacher one important thing to remember when discussing lockdown drills with them is to get your point across without frightening them. We do stress that if something happens where there is an emergency at school, that they need to follow their student, their teacher's directions, and that students need to make sure that they go somewhere where they can be safe, where they can be quiet, and where they can be out of sight. So we, we try to do it without scaring them, but with at the same time making sure that they they go to a secure location. Some students have even made suggestions to school officials regarding some different ways to keep classrooms looking empty should a lockdown occur. Kelsey Nemisto, Fox GP News, Marquette County.